Working in the automotive aftermarket, do you ever feel like you're drowning in acronyms? There's ABS, TPMS, VIO, ECU, PCM, ADAS, OE, VVT, EGT, EPAS, GDI, TGDI, EGR, EVAP, ECT, CKP, HVAC, OBD, CAN, DCT, ECM, DIY, DIFM, just to name a few. It's enough to make your head spin. In this video, we're going to throw a couple more at you. MAF and MAP sensors. But hopefully when you get a better understanding of the important function of these sensors, they'll be more than just another pair of acronyms. Before an engine management system can accurately control the air-fuel mixture and spark timing, it needs to know how much air is entering the engine. Fuel can be precisely timed and measured through an injector, but air is a bit more of an unknown quantity. Altitude, temperature, and humidity can all affect the volume, density, and mass of incoming air, so the engine control module needs a heads up on the quantity and quality of that available air charge. That's where MAP and MAF sensors come in. More air calls for more fuel, as does more load on the engine and a wider throttle opening. The throttle position sensor can tell the engine control module if the throttle is closed, part open or wide open, and the manifold absolute pressure sensor, or MAP sensor, can monitor the intake manifold pressure. The information is used to calculate air density and determine the engine's air mass flow rate. This is critical information that helps the engine control module optimize fuel injection. On the majority of late model, fuel injected vehicles, however, you're more likely to see a mass airflow sensor or MAF sensor. Most fuel injected engines use a mass airflow sensor to obtain a more precise measurement of airflow. The MAF sensor measures airflow with a heated element that's cooled by air flowing past the sensor. The amount of cooling the element experiences is directly proportional to airflow, so the engine control module can get a very accurate reading on how much air is actually entering the engine. The sensor produces a digital frequency signal that changes with airflow. There are two common types of airflow sensors used in automotive engines, the vein meter sensor and the hot wire sensor. Many modern MAF sensors are of the hot wire design, which rely on changes in the temperature and electrical resistance of a fine platinum filament as intake air passes over it. While the industry has shifted to mass airflow sensors, Delphi Technologies points out that turbocharged engines typically will use both a MAP and a MAF sensor. I'm Josh Cable, thanks for watching.